what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel so it seems like tesla has been on an extreme rampage with all of these new software releases these software developers and engineers have been on point with all these bug fixes new releases software updates it's been it's been impressive so we're back again with another update video and this is one of the more substantial ones we've had in a while this is for 2022.24 so this is not fully rolled out to the fleet yet we don't even have full release notes but it is coming soon i still wanted to let you guys know a couple of the updates of what to expect and then as soon as it hits either our model 3 or model s we will do a deeper dive like we do in the past if you're new to the channel thumbs up this video subscribe to get all the tesla information you want and let's talk about some of these new features so again courtesy of not a tesla app you guys can see here we have updates to live traffic we have cloud profiles we have sentry mode updates let's do a deeper dive into all of those right now so as you can see here the first thing that you're going to notice that has been improved is now tesla profiles they now give you the ability to tie your vehicle profiles to your Tesla account. Your supported profile settings will be saved to the cloud, allowing you as the driver profiles to sync across multiple vehicles. The biggest change here, I think, is blind spot camera improvements. They're now enabling you to be able to actually change the location by dragging and dropping that camera feed to either of the corners on the screen, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, instead of it having to be fixated. Sentry mode improvements are what's next on here, and this is now allowing you to turn off audible sounds. So it actually came out in a 2022.20 release, but only in a specific country in Israel where laws prevent alarms from having an audible noise. So now you're getting the opportunity to toggle if you want the silent version of sentry mode or not. It'll continue to function as it always has, sending notifications, but there will not be an audible alert. Driver profiles are up next and they have now made it that when someone else uses your vehicle, they'll have their own set of recent locations and your recent locations will not be mixed. I think that's awesome. The next change here is actually kind of questionable to me per personally. Uh, live traffic visualizations, instead of always seeing red, yellow, or blue for traffic patterns around your area, it'll now only show your route and adjacent roads, and only that will be in the color of the traffic routine sign. So keep that in mind, you're not gonna see everything around you. We'll see if it, that'll be an option to toggle or not down the road, but this is one of the more larger updates, I think, coming. But yeah, you can see there's other changes listed here, nothing major. Let me know what you guys think. That's it for now. I'm sure there's going to be more in the release notes, but I wanted to give you guys a quick first look. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.